Miranda, can you tell Melinda to get me the Rogers file on the client she was working with yesterday? Sure, but I don't see her at her desk. I'm sure she is on her extended lunch break, as usual. Don't tell me that right now. Why did they hire her again? I should be making the salary in addition to mine for continuously picking up her slack and covering for her with upper management. Ha! Don't be dramatic, Caitlin. But I will admit she's a lot more fun outside. The office when you don't have to rely on her for anything. Touche. Maybe that's a problem. Less shots the night before will equal a more productive Melinda in the office. I can't handle it anymore. I love Melinda, but it's not fair. Thankfully, we have Caitlin to run a tight ship and get us all on task to produce, but it's almost like hiring a fifth person for the team has actually made us have to work harder rather than helping our numbers like the original intention. If she's going to take a two-hour lunch break, I'm going to, too. Ditto. Really, guys? Let's be real. Be the team I know we can be. We did it with the four of us before, and we will continue to do it, with or without Melinda's help. Yeah. Okay. There she is now. Melinda, Roger's files on my desk now. Sure thing. Guys, oh my gosh, last night was so fun. That guy that sat next to our table at McDinn's won't stop texting me. Yeah, we can tell. You haven't been off your phone since you've come into work. <laughs> right. Anyways, I really don't feel well. I think I'm coming down with the nasty virus my parents have. I feel bad having to leave you guys, especially with the workload this week, but I don't see myself be being very productive with how I'm feeling at the moment. You don't feel well because of a virus or because of the amount of shots you ordered last night? Last time I checked, being hungover wasn't a good enough excuse to leave work. Otherwise, I'd, come in, I'd never come in myself. <sighs> You're very true. But no, I'd rather rest than overexert myself here and make it worse. Let me know how the day goes and I'll be in touch tomorrow to see if I'm feeling good enough to come in. Going to stop and stock up on some emergency and cough drops now. Rest up. Caitlin calls Bob. Just wanted to let you know that Melinda has left for the day and she was working with that big lead you gave her earlier in the week. Oh, thanks for the heads up. You'll, uh, you will have to finish that for her because I don't want them to slipping through the cracks, Caitlin. Sure thing. Have a good day. Thanks. Show me the numbers like, like I know you can, Caitlin. Uh, I love my job, but sometimes I feel like I'm always the one picking up the pieces. It's not fair that I hold the same position as Melinda, yet get looked up by upper management as one of, as one of the one in charge to always get the job done. Don't worry, Caitlin. It will eventually pay off. When the time is right. Thank God you're here keeping me sane. Later in the day. I can almost taste happy hour after this horrible day. The amount of calls we've gotten in the last hour of being here is not cool. It's hard not having the fifth person around to answer them. Yeah, I will give it to Melinda when it comes to answering phones. She's always the first to grab them, and I'm completely fine with that. I'll do the paperwork if she answers the phones. <laughs> Must be why they hired her. She's very perky and personable and gets the sale in when she's actually doing her job. We could really use her right now since my day was a complete bust. I was on the phone with the same clients for two hours and it ended without even selling a policy. I'm ready for happy hour too, Nikolai. Team, we still have 30 minutes left in our day. Let's make it count. You have got to be kidding me! What? what? Melinda really may want to reconsider being friends with me on Facebook. She just uploaded a, what do you guys call it, a selfie on a roller coaster at Bush Gardens. I'm calling her out so bad. That's such BS. I can literally feel the veins in my forehead popping out. Don't tell Caitlin until tomorrow morning. That will really put her over the edge. Not a good day for anyone. Let's just hope she doesn't call in tomorrow, too. 